This is Jeremy with Hartfield Automation and today I was going to make a quick video just demoing the Yamaha RCX 240S controller with Ethernet IP and one of their small um, scare robots using their programming software VIP Plus. Uh, the first thing I wanted to show you was this Yamaha COM port query so you can identify which port you're communicating to and you can see here I'm communicated through my my number five uh, USB port so that's kind of important when you open and connect a new controller to the VIP plus software on your computer so the first thing you're going to do is go to file and we are going to add a controller for the purposes of this demo we'll go ahead and call it Harfield Georgia and uh, Y112 demo. You can see here we're at COM port 5. I've gone to my my teach pendant and uh, checked the baud rate and we are transmitting at 57.6. So let's go ahead and power up. The first thing we need to do is uh, disengage our emergency stop. Escape, escape, escape on my teeth pendant. And hit OK here in the software, and we're now connecting to the controller. You can see that I've got an emergency flag set, which we'll go over that here in a second. First thing you want to do, though, is click on the controller and you can see now I've activated some of these fields here this is our manual control mode here's auto mode and this is our absolute reset which will allow us to home the robot so let's first go into manual mode you can see our display units are set to pulses we want to go ahead and change that to millimeters now, you know, we'll have to do that after we after we home it. Um, but I've clicked utility, and this allows me to clear that emergency flag. So let's go ahead and do that. We've opened up the utility tool here from manual mode. And the first thing we want to do is power on all the accesses. So now you can hear that the all of our servo motors opened. We'll go ahead and close this and let's see if we can go ahead and get this thing home now. So we click our absolute. This is our origin reset and let's go ahead and execute. And before doing that we need to click our motor type is based on an absolute encoder not an incremental encoder. So we'll execute you can see our Z, Y, and X axis are all moving. And our homing is just about complete. We do have a small rotation going on in the Z. I don't know if you can notice in the video. But as soon as that sets, we'll be done. Okay, origin reset completed successfully. Let's go ahead and close this out. On the left hand side, is our main controller window. Here you can see some of the programs we have written that are already installed in the controller. We'll go over those here shortly. Our coordination system. Here's where we define our points table prior to writing our programs. Um, and one of the cool things here is, is you can just highlight the row and you can see that you can enter a current position. Why is that important? Well, because from the controller, in manual mode, in the utility, we can free all the selected accesses. 
go back into our point table and let's uh, we'll highlight row 50 place we'll enter this current position and you can see now that our XYZ and rotation have been put into the table and it has not defined our arm type we'll discuss this in a little bit make sure you click save otherwise we won't save that point table and now your new position 50 has been set Also from a manual mode, now here I can jog. Let's move our z-axis up. Oh, sorry. Click the controller again. We need to go into manual mode. And utility. And we need to power back on all the motors. That's why I wasn't able to jog that. Close, and now we can move our z back up. There you go. We can also move our... X or Y. Okay. So now from manual mode, we want to switch into auto mode, which will allow us to run our programs here. So let's say yes. We'll initialize, and you can see now our programs are here. Um, one of the let's see let's try our moves program the purpose of this program is to de demo several different move types so we've double clicked our, our program and let's just go ahead and start it Okay, let's stop that. We'll open up another program. This one is kind of neat. Um, this shows the Scarrow robot going from lefty mode to righty mode. So you can see seamlessly it can, it can switch from left arm to right arm without having any hiccups in the mechanics. And just for fun, we'll go ahead and show a little palletizing program that was written. Okay. So there you have it, that's your initial setup of the VIP Plus programming software using Yamaha's RCX240S controller. Uh, later we'll do another in-depth demo on exactly how to create the program and run through some of the syntax uh, needed to make a successful program. Thanks again for tuning in, and we look forward to helping you in the future.